when it comes to keeping time, the Swiss watch knows no equal. More than 26 million are exported each year, and the best are mini masterpieces of elegance, accuracy, and precision engineering. But like time itself, their construction can't be rushed, and each one takes 14 months to create. So, how do they do it? As the world leader in watchmaking, Switzerland manufactures the very best with clockwork regularity. Almost 600 companies produce Swiss-made watches, and one of the best known is Breitling. Famous as the watch of aviators, their altitude-busting timepieces provide pilots with perfect time at 37,000 feet. At the heart of each watch is a complex internal mechanism called a movement. It's made up of almost 350 tiny parts. By the time the movement is complete, over 2,000 drawings and plans will have been produced, ready to manufacture a pre-production prototype. And that's done here, in the micro-mechanic workshop. Here, the bespoke parts are all fabricated, cut, machined, and the prototype then assembled. Each one is tested for wear for a year, and then sent to the lab for analysis and further testing. And this is no cursory inspection. Each tiny part is scrutinized on a forensic level. When you're dealing with the best timepieces on Earth, the acceptable tolerances of wear are so minute, even a microscope isn't up to the job. The answer, an electron microscope, which can scan each part at up to 40,000 times magnification. Each prototype also goes through a series of strict tests, from the most technical to the most brutal. If the tests are passed, the prototype can then be put into production. The basis for each movement is, aptly enough, its base plate. Because steel is too heavy and aluminium too soft, each one is made from brass alloy, which gives the optimum balance between lightness, strength and machinability. Once complete, the base plate joins every other component in the quality control lab for yet more tests, measurements and scans. A typical human hair is up to 100 microns thick, but every part of the movement has to be within plus or minus 5 microns to be passed for production. Once they've passed quality control, the metal parts all have to be cleaned to remove the tiniest traces of dust and any fingerprints. The trouble is that chemical detergents could react with the materials, affecting their quality. So the solution is to wash everything in this water-based ultrasonic cleaner, which uses high-frequency sound waves to remove any contaminants. All 346 parts of the movement are now ready for assembly. It's a minute engineering jigsaw, so the solution is to pre-assemble extremely small pieces into 71 components that are merely very small. Vice President Jean-Paul Girardin explains. So here we are in the uh, pre-assembly workshop. This is where we are going from 346 parts down to 71 pre-assembled components before to go to the assembly line. Each component is assembled using a combination of human skill and precision micro-mechanical engineering. And for this Rolls-Royce of the wrist, no expense is spared. Remarkably, dozens of tiny rubies go into every movement. Once all 71 components are pre-assembled, they're taken here to the state-of-the-art movement assembly workshop. We have 36 workplaces, 28 are manual operation, so it means that when we can, we introduce high technology, but still, most of the time, the knowledge, the capacity, the craftsmanship of our knowledgeable watchmakers are better than the machines. To keep the movement assembly free from dust and untouched by the watchmaker's hands, Breitling have pioneered this ingenious production line called the Central Highway. First, each main plate is carefully placed inside a plastic case called a shuttle and then sent on to the automated highway. Each shuttle then passes along the line to the 36 workstations. At each station, the watchmaker has to complete a specific set of steps. Before the shuttle is returned to the highway and automatically sent to the next station. Each expert sits at the same station all day, every day. And the precise process ticks over like a Swiss watch. 
until finally the movement is ready to become part of precisely that. First, the date dial and watch face are added, and the date change mechanism checked for accuracy and position. Next, the delicate hour, minute and second hands are stamped into place. Ready for the next step of the process, called casing up. To stop dust from getting into the watch movement, compressed air is used throughout the process. The trouble with mechanical watches is that they stop if you forget to wind them up. The solution is to add an oscillating weight, which swings with the natural movement of the wearer's arm, automatically winding the watch. The self-winding mechanism is tested for 90 minutes to make sure it's working, before each watch is put into an air pressure chamber to check for water resistance. If the pressure drops, air has escaped into the watch, highlighting a leak. Finally, the watches are rate-checked to make sure they keep accurate time and moved constantly to replicate being worn on your arm. Each watch will have passed around 1,000 different checks before it's finally ready to be sold. A time-consuming process to ensure that a Swiss watch keeps the right time all the time, even at 37,000.